charming. Tiffany's name is written on her buzzer. She's in apartment two, right on the ground floor. It's a bunch of mailboxes. Tiffany's mailbox is on the bottom row. Flyers for guitar lessons, computer repair, and furniture. Although this one looks interesting. Locked. Just a bunch of mailboxes. Tiff's mailbox is on the bottom row. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello? Hi there. What? Who are you? How'd you get in? Oh, I... I just moved into the building. I live down the hall. Just thought I'd come meet the neighbors. Really? Oh, how nice. It makes my day when people care. Huh? I can see right through you, mister. You're not the only one. Oh, shut up! You think you're so clever? You think you're so charming? Can't blame a guy for trying. Well, take it somewhere else. I've had enough. Enough of what? I'm turning my back now. I want to be left alone. There's a message written on this photo. Rachel and Tiff. We... rocked? I don't get it. like Tiffany. I guess she worked in an office before she died? I can only assume her name is Rachel. Looks like a pretty threatening letter from someone called STP. So how did it go? She's a spook, all right. Pretty recent one, too. Just like Jeremy. Yeah. I guess there's nothing stopping me from doing that, except for my nearly complete lack of physical existence. Just a bunch of mailboxes. Tiff's mailbox is on the bottom row. Let's have a look-see. It's too dark to make anything out. It's too dark to make anything out. I got these business cards made up a few months ago. They glow in the dark. It's so cool. No point. He can't touch it. I've already put a card in the sl- Let's have a look-see. I can just make out the return address. This letter is from someone named R. Abu. Who knew that thing would be useful after all? Who knew that- I think it's a pretty good bet that the R in R Abu stands for Rachel.
it's the barista. Hi. Hi. You're new here, aren't you? Uh, yeah, my first time. I knew it. I never forget a face. Are you Rachel Labou? Yeah, that's me. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. Tiffany? What about her? You were friends, right? Sort of. Yeah, we were friends before... Well, before she died. I'm looking into her death. Why? Wasn't it a brain aneurysm or something? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, okay, but I'm not sure what kind of help I can be. Do you know the detective over there? Durkin? He's a regular. It's so tempting, but I've already had more coffee today than I should. So you and Tiffany were friends? A few years ago. We were both office temps, and when our jobs ended, we got close. I went on to start this place. She stayed on with the temp agency. She was trying to find her way, you know? Maybe she thought she found it. What do you mean? Um, she met some guy named Ken at one of her temp jobs. Then she stopped hanging out with me. Same old story. I don't blame her. It happens. What do you know about the guy Tiffany was with? Only that his name was Ken, and she met him while on one of her office temp jobs. Tiffany was kind of intense about him. She really fell head over heels. I couldn't tell if it was sweet or if it was scary. Do you know where Tiffany was temping when she met Ken? I wouldn't know. She never told me, and those temp agencies bounce you around. What about the agency she worked for? We didn't work at the same agency, so I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Is there anything else? I told you everything. Have you ever heard of STP? Nope, I don't think so. Sorry. Thanks, I'll see you around. Have a good night. STP could be a temp agency, I suppose. Only one way to find out. Give me a sec. You talking to me? Bingo. STP stands for Sterling Temp Placement. And here's the address. It's just south of Midtown. You enjoy that thing a little too much. Hi, are you busy? Hmm? Sorry, we're not taking new applicants right now. And even if I were, it's several hours past closing time. I'm not looking for a job, sorry. I was hoping to ask you some questions. Will this take long? It depends on you. Fine, what do you want? You're open kinda late. Like I said, we're not open. Just because I'm not seeing a client doesn't mean there isn't work to do. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. She used to work for this agency. Yes, I remember her. I need to know what company you placed her in. That, I'm afraid, is confidential. Are you aware that Tiffany is dead? I am aware, yes, but it doesn't change anything. Surely if Tiffany is dead, it doesn't have to be confidential anymore. It's not her confidentiality that I'm worried about. What does that mean? Whatever you think it means. Surely if Tiffany... It's not... What is that... Whatever you... Well, thanks. Right. Stay close to the door, Rick. After you. Hello again. What? So, you're Tiffany Walters, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Whatever. Well, we've confirmed that at least. So what's your beef, anyway? I never had a broad so angry with me. Not before dinner, anyway. Just leave me alone. So, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. What? You're a ghost. You're haunting your own apartment. 
I'm what? That's rich. Really rich. I thought I'd heard them all, but that one... Just leave me alone. I heard you worked for Sterling. Well, those jerks. Jerks? They fired me. Terminated my contract. For no reason. Sorry to hear that. Whatever. It's not like there aren't other temp agencies. So, tell me about Ken. Ken? He's wonderful. Is he now? He's... I can't begin to explain. Try me. He... Wait. Not you too. Huh? Why is everyone against us? I don't understand. I'd like to understand. How about you tell me about it? Just go away. Well, see. Yeah. Typical spook. Evasive. Cryptic. Won't give me a damn straight answer. So, par for the course then. Don't worry, we'll get her. We always do. You might be interested in seeing this. The City Post? Is that who you're working for? Yes, the biggest paper in the city. Maybe you can be more forthcoming now. No, doesn't change a thing. Confidential is confidential. You just made doubly sure that I won't say anything. Hi again. Yes? I know you terminated Tiffany's contract. Could you tell me why? Look, we had a serious complaint and had to let her go. That's all I can say. You can't tell me who made the complaint. Absolutely not. Why the secrecy? Surely Tiffany won't mind. She's dead. Look, whatever happened, happened at the client's office. And I like to keep my clients. Agencies like mine are struggling to stay in business. People just aren't hiring temps like they used to. So if it's all the same, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Well, I'm afraid that I have no choice but to end my article with you. Huh? What do you mean? An investigation is like following links in a chain, and you're the last link. Is this supposed to be a threat? I've told you absolutely nothing. Oh, don't worry. I'll just write the truth about how you fired her and then refused to comment on her tragic death in the City Post, read by millions. That should do wonders for your reputation, don't you think? Why are you harassing me? Surely there are other leads you could follow. Maybe, but I'm on a deadline. It's a shame that I don't have someone else to harass instead. Maybe then I could avoid mentioning this place entirely. This is blackmail. The man you want is Ken Sharp of Sharp Sound. Now just get out of here. <laughs>